Hello everyone, today we are going to learn a lesson on how to find medians, quartiles and percentiles. Now to uh, the success criteria for this lesson, at the end of the lesson you should be able to differentiate between what is a discrete data as well as what is a continuous data. Okay, later we will talk about this and uh, after the end of the lesson you should also be able to calculate statistical information such as median, range, in the quartile range, percentiles and quartiles okay, for both discrete and continuous data. All right, let's take a look at what is the meaning of discrete data. Uh, discrete data basically refers to data which only takes on distinct values. That means only individual personalized values. So suppose we have a set of data and uh, the data are just individual values like 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17 or when we have another set of data, 2, 5, 6, 7, all these individual values, right, they are known as discrete data. Right, how about continuous data? Okay, so continuous data refers to data with a range of values. So if we take a look at an example over here, right, uh, this uh, may be the number of bags being sold for a period of uh, two to three months, right? And uh, if we see over here, X uh, is between 0 to 20. That means uh, there are 0 to 20 bags being sold on 15 days of the period. And uh, X is between 20 to 40. This means that uh, there are 20 to 40 bags being sold on 20 of the days uh, during this period of time. So if you actually notice what is a continuous data, right, it refers to a range of values of X values. And usually this range of values of X, right, uh, we can actually plot out a cumulative frequency curve. Okay, based on what we see on the right side. And uh, this is usually uh, for continuous set of data. Alright, now let's take a look at some statistical values. Okay, so uh, in uh, the calculation of uh, all these discrete and continuous data, right, uh, there are some statistical values that we're interested in. The uh, first one being a range a range of values. So the meaning of a range is just refers to the maximum value of the data, subtract off the minimum value of the data. Right. Okay, we'll take a look at an example later. The median. Median is also something that is known as the 50th percentile. Uh, sometimes we also represent it using a symbol Q2. Uh, it is actually the data value of the middle data. Okay, so uh, we'll also be taking a look at some examples later. Upper quartile. So usually a data is being split into two parts, the lower half as well as the upper half. The upper quartile will be the data of the middle value in the upper half region all right so uh, this uh, upper quartile is also sometimes known as the q3 in a set of data lower quartile so uh, lower quartile uh, as a uh, being very similar to the upper quartile it will just be the data value of the middle of the lower half data right okay and uh, to find out what is the interquartile range which is sometimes known as the spread of the data uh, we will just use the difference between the upper quartile uh, subtract off with the lower quartile and uh, all these will be the different statistical values that we are interested in okay so now that you have understand all the different uh, terminologies of uh, statistics uh, let's dive into some examples Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the first example over here. We have a set of discrete data, and uh, this is an odd set of data. How do we know it's an odd set? You just count the number of data in this question. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have a total of 7 data in this question, right? So uh, this is actually an odd set of data. Now, every, every time we have a discrete data, we, are, we need to rearrange the data in ascending order first. What's ascending? Ascending means from small to big, right? So uh, you need to first rearrange the data first. Let's do that now. Right. So once you have actually uh, rearranged the data, just do a double check again. Okay, just count your number of data. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, the number of values that you have in your 
rearrange data, it should be the same as the question. Okay, so this is a useful check uh, before you start calculating the median, the upper quarter, and lower quarter in case you have uh, made an error in your rearrangement. Right, so uh, this is a very important step. Okay, as a quick check to make sure that you have the same value of data as the question. Once you have actually uh, rearranged it, okay, the next step is to actually know what is the middle position. So uh, there is a formula when the data gets very big. Okay, in this case, it's actually quite obvious. It's actually the fourth data. Okay, but uh, we can actually use a formula to calculate the middle position as well. The formula will be given by middle position is equals to n plus 1 divided by 2, where n is the number of data in the question. So in this question, n will be equal to 7, okay? because uh, there are 7 data sets in this question. So to find out the middle position, right, we'll just take 7 plus 1 divided by 2, it will be the fourth position. That means uh, the mid middle value right, is actually the fourth position. And uh, this value will also be the median of this question, which is represented by Q2. So in this question, the middle value is the 1, 2, 3, 4. Our median will be 6, okay, which is the fourth position. Okay. So uh, you can actually circle the median to indicate that it's the middle. Okay. Now, uh, the lower quartile. The lower quartile is actually the middle of the lower half data. So our lower half data is actually these three numbers over here. The middle will be 4. So our lower quartile represented by Q1, it will just be 4. And our upper quartile is a similar aspect, is the middle of the upper half. So in this case, our upper quartile will be 8. Okay, and uh, to calculate the interquartile range, okay, which is also the spread of the data, uh, spread as we will know later, right, is actually measuring how consistent a set of data is, right? So uh, we will talk more about this when we are comparing the data, right? But for now, uh, the spread, right, will just be represented by uh, Q3 minus Q1. So interquartile range. Okay, it will be equals to Q3 minus Q1, and uh, based on the calculation, it will be 8 minus 4, which is a value of 4. Okay, finally, we also have one uh, important uh, data, which is called the range of the data. This one is fairly easy. Okay, the range is just uh, the maximum value minus the minimum value. In this case, it's just 10 minus 2. Our answer is 8. Okay, so uh, usually in a data set, discrete data set, uh, these are some of the important values that we'll be looking at. The median represented by Q2, the upper and lower quartile represented by Q1 and Q3 respectively, the interquartile, uh, which is calculated by taking Q3 minus Q1, and the range, okay, which is calculated by taking the maximum minus the minimum value. Right. We take a look at another example. Okay, over here is also an odd set of data. Okay, we can just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so this is also an odd set of data. Uh, the first thing that we do, we need to rearrange the data. Let's do that now. Okay, so again, a good habit to have is after you have made the rearrangements, just count your data. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Just to make sure that it has the same number of data as your original question. Right? Okay, so uh, once you have done that, we will calculate the middle position. Middle position will be n plus 1 divided by 2. It will be 9 plus 1 divided by 2 is the fifth position. Okay, so to obtain our median, just circle the fifth number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, is 18. Our median will be 18. The lower quartile will be the middle of the lower half. Okay, but this time notice that we have four numbers in the lower half. So the middle in this case is actually the average of 10 and 14. So our 
lower quartile in this case is uh, 10 plus 14 divided by 2. Okay, so use your calculator, your answer will be 12. Okay, your upper quartile, again same thing, is the middle of the upper half data. So in this case, it's the average of 27 and 32. Okay, so just use your calculator, your results will be 29.5. And uh, finally, to calculate the interquartile range, uh, we'll just take Q3 minus Q1. Okay, so uh, 29.5 minus 12, your results will be 17.5. Okay, and uh, if we want to calculate the range, range is just maximum minus minimum. So range will just be uh, 40 minus 9. Your results will be 31. Okay, so this is how we calculate the set of uh, answers for this uh, discrete data. Now let's take a look at a set of uh, even data, right? Okay, so for a even data set, right, the treatment will be slightly different. Uh, but if you have understood what we have went through just now, right, uh, for even set of data, we will actually have two uh, middle. So uh, to get the median, we actually take the average of the uh, middle values. Okay, so uh, again, same same practice. We need to rearrange our data set first. So we will do that now. We will do a rearrangement of, of our data set. Okay, so a good habit will be to check your data set. Just, so just do a quick check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Your original is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 as well. So just to make sure that it's the same so that uh, you don't make an unnecessary mistake later on. Okay, so uh, once we have done that, uh, we will calculate our middle position. So middle in this case will be 10 because we have 10 data. So 10 plus 1 divided by 2, it will be the 5.5 position. Uh, so now, now it looks a bit funny, right? Okay, usually we have one uh, first position, second position. But what is 5.5 position? So 5.5 position is actually the average of the fifth and the sixth position values, right? So 5.5 is just taking the average of the fifth and sixth position. So we look at the data again, one, two, three, four, fifth and sixth. We'll circle the two middle number, okay? So to calculate the median, we'll just take the average, okay? So it's six plus nine divided by two. Our average will be 7.5. Okay, so our median is 7.5. So this is how we get the data set, right? Okay, so now that, uh, now this uh, even data set, right? You notice that there are two numbers here. When we split them into half, right? We need to include one of the numbers as the lower half as well as one of the numbers for the upper half. So this is a bit different when we are having our odd data set. Odd, odd data set, we exclude the median in our calculations. But for even data sets, we will need to include one of the numbers in our calculation. So our lower half in this case will be from zero all the way until the second six. Okay, so if you notice here, there's uh, five numbers here. The middle of the lower half is one. So in this case, our lower quartile is actually one. Okay, so same thing. Uh, our upper half will need to include one of the numbers from the median. So in this case, we will include the nine and we will end at 29. So again, there are five numbers in the upper half. The middle of the upper half is 24. So our upper quartile will be 24. Right. So once we have obtained the upper and lower quartile, uh, our interquartile can be easily obtained. It will just be 24 minus 1. Okay, so I'll just use IQ range for short. So interquartile is just 24 minus 1. 
our answer is 23 and uh, finally the range okay range is quite simple range you just take 29 minus 0 the range is 29 and this is how we calculate the values for an even set of data all right let's take a look at another example on an even discrete data set okay how do we know it's even you just count the number of data one two three four five six seven eight there are eight sets of data here so it's an even set of data again we need to do our rearrangements in ascending order So it'll be 51, 54, 63, 64, 66, 70, 72, and 80. Okay, so again, just double check again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, make sure the number of data is the same as your question. Okay, once we have done that, we find the middle position. So middle position will be 8 plus 1 divided by 2. Okay, your answer is 4.5 position. So 4.5 position will just means we want the average of the fourth and fifth data value as the median. Okay, so now our median is the fourth and fifth data. So fourth and fifth is uh, 64 and 66. Okay, we take the average, our median will be 65. Okay, this one you can use your calculator to get the value. Okay, so again, same idea. Uh, our middle half will be the including one of the uh, median. Okay, one of the values in the median. So in this case, we have four numbers here. The middle is the average of 54 and 63. Okay, so our lower quartile in this case will be 54 plus 63 divided by 2 okay so just use your calculator our lower quartile will be 58.5 okay same thing for our upper quartile our upper quartile will include one of the numbers from the median so uh, we will take the middle of the upper half so that will be 70 plus 72 okay so our upper quartile is uh, 70 plus 72 divided by 2 our upper quartile is 71. Okay, and uh, to find the interquartile range, we just take the difference of upper quartile minus lower quartile. So it's uh, 71 minus 58.5. Okay, the answer will be 12.5. And finally, to calculate the range, Okay, range is a uh, maximum minus minimum, so 80 minus 51. Okay, our answer will be 29. And uh, that's how we calculate all the different statistical values for discrete data.